Hi, my name is Thalia MK and I'm at Health 2.0 Conference Dubai, uh, Winter 2022, and I have with me uh, Mr. Ajay Gangoli. He is uh, also receiving a visionary award uh, for Health 2.0 Conference, and he is the medical director at Muljibhai Patel Urological uh, Hospital. And uh, he is an honorary, and we are very, very glad to have you and thank you so much for your time first of all tell us about you and your company and your work okay um, i've got uh, close to three and a half decades of experience now uh, i served in the army for 22 years after that i went to some hospitals in the cities of bombay and hyderabad i have joined muljibai patel uh, a few months ago uh, Muljipai Patel is a hospital that was established 44 years ago. is a unique hospital in the sense that it uh, caters or cares for only one organ. So it, it just looks after kidney diseases. It is one of, the, one of the first hospitals in the country to actually do a kidney transplant, which they did about uh, in the 19, early 1980s. And uh, subsequently, it's uh, very renowned for that and is one of the best centers in the world for uh, treatment of uh, kidney stones. The plan is, uh, it's a charitable hospital, so we do support patients who cannot afford treatment. And uh, we are looking at actually taking it forward to the next level. So while we do, uh, we famous for stone uh, treatments, we want to take it forward for other programs including children, uh, treatment of kidney disease in women and um, make the transplant program uh, more well known. That's amazing for charity. Uh, I would like to know that, for example, if as this is available in India, anybody from outside, are they, you're getting a clientele from outside and how long is the, I won't say the waiting list, I know it's wrong to say for a patient, but usually there is a waiting list. Uh, how do you prioritize and you decide who goes first and who goes second? Um, for most renal treatments, we do get patients from all over the world. We don't uh, differentiate between any patient who comes irrespective of their uh, financial status or paying capacity. We are actually quite well known for the fact that uh, whatever we do or whatever treatment is advised for a particular patient uh, goes well beyond their uh, ability to pay. So irrespective of your uh, financial status, you will get the same treatment, the same uh, medical consumables that are used. And ap apart from the room, there will be no other difference in the treatment. Uh, transplant in India is governed by law. So that is where a waiting period comes in and that is very often dependent on the donor and the compatibility between the donor and the recipient. But any other treatment is uh, as and when a patient comes, as long as there's some uh, bed available, it goes ahead. That's such an honorable and I'm very, very like proud and honored to be sitting next to you. I'm very glad to meet you. How can anybody who is li like watching this and listening to you help and help you to, you know, go for this noble cause in a really like in an advanced level so that it can help and promote on itself? Uh, we got a website, uh, mpuh.org. I welcome anybody who's there to uh, connect with us. Uh, we would actually like support because we do want to take this forward, particularly the what I spoke about, the areas where we want to add are the treatment of children and women. I think this is a um, group of patients who somehow gets neglected. Women tend to be uh, culturally most sensitive about their uh, problems and uh, Somehow the fact that most urologists are male tends to deter women from coming for treatment. And I think it's very sad that 50% uh, of the world's population um, doesn't come for treatment when it is available. Just because of the gender bias and it's, I guess, because of how, like I would say, our Asian culture when it comes to India, Pakistan, it's how we are like uh, grown. It's how we are taught like, you know, uh, this is not okay. But when it comes to health, I believe wherever and however you can get health, do it and it's very important to be healthy secondly then it comes gender or any other aspect and I would like to know how anybody can help uh, as you said it's a charitable charitable uh, program so not everybody is able to pay are there any ways to uh, invest or provide you with the amount or help you with financially how how they can reach you 
uh, they can reach out actually on the email address info at mpuh.org and uh, we will definitely uh, welcome people who are willing to help us in this journey. Uh, we are actually in the process of expanding our facilities because we want to, like I said, we want to add some more services and we want to, uh, the building is quite old, we want to modernize. And um, we actually want to make sure that irrespective of the patient, we want to provide the best treatment that is available in the world. So whatever can happen at any of the advanced centers across the world, the same tre treatment is available at uh, Muljibai Patel. That's amazing. And uh, as, as you are on a lighter note here at this conference in Dubai, how is the experience? What were you expecting and what are you gaining from uh, this networking and what are, has been your learning experience over here? The gain actually has been in meeting people. So that's a really fantastic uh, opportunity. Uh, meeting people always brings its own advantages of uh, always learning something new. So, uh, I mean, I think I'm a person who likes to uh, keep learning. And uh, every time you meet someone, they have their own thoughts or ideas about uh, things. Own perspective. Absolutely, absolutely. And that it's always something that we can learn from. So, sometimes when you think of something too much, you get very close to it and uh, you develop a little tunnel vision. So, when somebody puts a new thought it certainly you know it tends to break that tunnel and say oh, okay maybe this is something that that will work so how important is communication and improvement outcome in the healthcare how how important is that communication is something in uh, i think modern healthcare it's something that goes across um, any organization uh, any hospital anywhere in the world uh, care nowadays uh, doesn't happen with only one doctor and one patient. It's invariably a team, particularly a patient who's admitted in a hospital. It's a team who treats the patient. And depending on the seriousness, like say for a transplant program, you can have close to 50 people who are interacting with one patient. Obviously, they all need to have the same goal in mind. You can't have different people having different goals for a single patient. And uh, the best way to get the common goal is uh, communication and collaboration. So it's absolutely essential that everybody talks, everybody understands what is needed and uh, that's the way we will ensure that the best happens. Thank you so much for your time and I am honored uh, sitting next to you. I hope uh, you get all the help and all the promotions you ever wanted from this conference and it grows and he you help as many people as possible. So uh, just be kind, uh, be human, help each other, educate people, especially on health. Please be healthy and Taliyam ke signing off. Thank you.